welcome back to SV Basic. Today, the sun is finally shining. We've been quarantined inside for three weeks and it's been miserable and raining out the entire time. So we get to come outside and do some projects. As you can see, my dad is up on the mast, and I guess I'm not as strong as I look. That was very hard. That was hard for you? It was these guns, baby! These guns! I got him up there. Okay. Of course, it only took half an hour, but we got him up there. I think we might have to invest in something else to get him up, because that was brutal. Muscles. Oh, can you believe this weather? Here I am, 61 feet up right now. Girls had a little bit of a tricky time getting me up here. I tried to climb as much as I could. Uh, have two safety lines on. I feel real secure up here. And the view is spectacular. Okay, while I'm up here, I'm gonna get a few things done. The main halyard has some damage to it. So we're gonna drop that and measure that up and replace it. Usually, I would tie a messenger to the halyard as we pull it out, so I, I leave a messenger inside the mast, but the main halyard has a wrap around the topping lift inside the mast, so I'm gonna have to restring that when we get the new halyard in. I'm gonna get some measurements while I'm up here, and just kinda take in all that information that John had given me earlier. Need to start ordering up some uh, custom pieces for the rigging, but today is all about the mainsail. I want to get this new halyard on order so we could get that installed and get the mainsail out later today. I want to get that up and see how she looks. Okay, let's get to work. How you guys doing down there? Hi. Compass. Compass. Yeah. You guys look like ants from up here. <laughs> While I'm up here, I'm taking measurements for all new blocks, new shivs, and some other custom pieces. We're gonna make sure our rigging is safe. Some of the stuff, it's starting to show its age. I'll need to get a new whip antenna up here as well. Looks like here's an older whip antenna. I'll be taking this off. It's quite a bit to do up here. I would uh, love to do this on the ground, but we're not dropping this mast anytime soon. While I'm up here, I'm taking inventory of all the lines and halyards. You know, these are starting to show their age. I think to be safe, we're gonna have to just replace them all. It's gonna be a, a big expense, but you know what? I'd rather feel safer up here. This halyard I'm on, it doesn't look like it's in bad condition, but I mean, it is probably 15 years old. It's had a good life. I'm looking at this topping lift over here. This topping lift, I could see where the main's been rubbing on it. We've got a, a pretty full roach on the main and I could see where it was dicing into this topping lift.
that has a good nick in there, that's going to have to be replaced. This topping lift alone, it's going 60 feet down, 60 feet back, and then 60 feet down the mast, and probably another 20 feet to the winch. So that is one long line to replace. Okay, I've just pulled the main halyard out. Got it right here. I don't want to just crash this to the deck. So I've tied a lead to it and I'm lowering it down to the gals right now. You got it? Yeah. Go ahead and untie it. Don't pull too hard. You'll pull me right off here. If you step a little closer, it'll slack it. There you go. Okay, thank you. Well, the first thing we're doing is working on the main. And to get the main going, I need to have that new halyard put in. The one that we just took down has some damage on it. So, it was a must. Next thing, I want to get this topping lift replaced and these blocks. I want to get two new halyards so I feel safe going up the mast. I want to have one halyard to hoist me and one halyard as a safety. Those are the items I'm going to work on first. So let's get back down to the deck and get to work. We just got the dock cart because today is a fun day. It is sunny out and we have decided to take the mainsail out of the guest stateroom Woo! and take it up the dock and do a an inspection on it. Woo, kind of windy. Uh, an inspection on it so that we can either take some hard measurements for a new sail or see if we can salvage this and get going on our rigging. In the meantime, Compass and Emma are having a little fun. Yep. I'm really excited to see our mainsail. It's been a while since I've seen it. And once my dad puts it back on, then I'll be able to move back into the guest room. Woo! Okay, Teal is rustling this heavy mane out and onto the dock, so. I don't know if he's gonna need help or not. I think I got it. It's heavy! <laughs> I got this. Are you okay? I'm good. I don't remember it being this heavy. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. It's awkward. Okay. <laughs> Attempt two. Okay, I got it now. I'm nervous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Why are you really laughing was, at me? It was such a slow motion fall. <laughs> okay, we're gonna lay this main out at the end of the dock here. There's a nice flat spot. We'll be able to inspect it, look at the condition, and get some hard measurements.
Okay, at first glance, I am happy with this main. It's a North Sail main. It's in great condition. It's been in storage for 10 years. And we rolled it out and everything looks great. It has five batten sleeves, has two reef points, and the condition is, I would say, probably an eight or nine out of 10. So we will be installing this main, it looks like, and we'll run it for a couple of months. This is our chance before we install this to get all our hard measurements because we will be upgrading to a new precision main in the future. And for us to lay this out and get all these hard measurements, get our reef points, uh, find out how much of a roach is on this main. These are all important figures that we need. They'll be impossible to measure while it is installed. So we'll do that next. And I'm smiling because, you know, this is in a lot better condition than I remember. It's been a decade though. Go to the, the very tip of that. You got it? Okay, so the foot is 147 inches. <laughs> is that funny? Okay, next, let's get the luff, okay, which is from this mark all the way down to the head. So you hold it on this mark. Ready? Got it? Right there? Yeah. Okay, so this is the loft, Eva, this side here. Okay. So this is a total of 25 feet plus 19 feet 4 inches. Okay, now let's get the leech. Okay, so see this knot? Put that knot right on the end of that one. Now that one over there is called the clue. Hang on. Keep going. Okay, now stretch the sail tight. Make sure the... Hold it tight. Okay, perfect. Now hold it right on the clue. Got it? Yeah. Now I'm going to stretch it tight to this head. Okay, now let go. Got it? Now see this line? I'll be able to measure from that line out to the tip of the sail and that gives me the roach. Okay? Okay. 21 inches. Teal is now getting the last of the measurements and we're going to flake it and bring it back to basic. I have never seen him so happy with the condition that our main is in. And actually I am too. I mean, I didn't remember it being this nice before. glad we pulled the mainsail out today. We were able to get all the measurements we need and this is important information to have before we put the sail up. The condition of the sail looks like we'll be able to use it for a couple of months at least, maybe longer, we'll see. But if not, having this information will make ordering a new mainsail much easier. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Onboard Lifestyle. If you liked it, remember to hit that subscribe button and give us a like. A huge thanks to our patrons. You guys are amazing and we could not do this without your support. This week has gone by so fast because we've had some pretty amazing weather and we were able to go outside and keep ourselves busy and not remind ourselves that we are isolated and on our own for the time being. Speaking of isolation, I've been working on a song that kind of reflects how we feel and how everyone else is feeling right now. Thank you.